All right, Tyson, I'm going to start off a sentence. I want you to finish this sentence with the first thing, the first word that comes to mind. Gotcha. Life is a... You know. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never so let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I never give it up. I ain't never you know give I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I Welcome, Welcome to a new, new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. In today's episode, we will be going over a question that the ver the um our very own Professor Egghead has, I think, created. What in the hell do you just call me? So life Professor is a Egghead. life away the is the question. A Don't give you giving away the question already. Why don't you tell them about what what the podcast is all about in general? Oh yeah. No one knows what this podcast is about. Yeah. Breaking the cycle is a podcast on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak, freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son will want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so that they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves. Commas and breaths will take, take you a, a chill long pill, way. Man. Commas and breaths, like a comma and a breath. For themselves and are not afraid to be themselves, so when they eventually are confronted with these life situations, they are not in shock and have an idea on how to approach it. Wow, very well spoken, very well said. So today we're talking about a question that we first started. You know, you know when we first started this question? The question we're doing today is, and they already told you ahead of time, is a question that I came up with them one time. And it's literally you just get alone with someone with no one else there and you ask this question. You say, you, I, I'll say to you and let's just simulate it here. I'm with you. Pretend you're not there because I want it to be fresh to you when you're not here. So you're not here, Midge. You don't exist right now. And I say, look at her. Very sad. Very sad and depressed over there. I say, all right, Tyson, I'm going to start off a sentence. I want you to finish this sentence with the first thing, the first word that comes to mind. Gotcha. Life is a... Yellow. Why are you ruining our show and ruining our talk for later? Oh. For examples. What's your real answer? Oh, my real answer. Your you said an example. Oh, good life. Oh life is a God, good life. I should have went with you. We should have sent him in the dunce cap. Oh, because I... You get the dunce cap. This is what happens on Freedom Week. The, no. The brain doesn't fire on all cylinders. No, And now I you just used up one of our uh, examples of later of some things we've heard in the past. Now you just crushed the whole idea. All right, Midge, finish this sentence off with the first word that comes to mind. Get your stinky feet off there. I want to fall over. Life is a... River. A river. Interesting. Two interesting answers. So your answer was... Yellow. Well, your answer was... Good life. And it's supposed to be one word. So his is good life. Good life as one word. It's supposed good to be life. one word. And yours is... River. What? River. 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 So... Before you even explain, I want you both to explain to me because I don't even know exactly what you mean by these. I know those are your words. I want to hear in your own words what those mean. But before we do that, our own language. I want you to just tell me what do you think is kind of the purpose of this question? So you see how your mind works. To see how someone's mind works, see what tells you a lot about someone. Say what their perspective on life is. Jesus, you're just nerding out today, ain't you? Freedom Week, you get all kinds of extra sleep. You wake, you wake up at noon and you wake up like a freaking genius. <laughs> Holy shit. We're like two dopes over here. And this one wakes up like she got like 15 hours of See sleep. See what their perspective on life is. On the trellis. <laughs> See what their perspective is on the trellis. If, if you, you watch, haven't, go watch the previous episode. Maybe. Maybe. The episode on school versus what you're learning in school. That was the last episode. Anyway. The equilibrium. All right. So, yeah, you can learn a lot about someone. I've... Do you know what I first asked you guys this question? It's an equilibrium. We've been in California now four years. I first asked you to this question probably close to six years ago, seven years ago, maybe. And that was the answers you the gave. First time? Seven years ago. Well, I said river? You at uh, you said that like four or five years ago when we redid it. Like maybe four years ago. So we were in California when we redid it. You said like umbrella or something. Umbrella. Life is an I umbrella. Said but Life is a pig. No, you said something, but I don't remember what. Was it smart? Because I'm very smart. I don't remember what it was. Tesh? 
tangling. Another good one would be life is a ladder. But we literally did this five or six. How about this? All right, we're going to get into examples of it after. But what, so the purpose is to see someone's perspective on things, how they look at life, just maybe where they are in life at that point, because this could change with someone over time, right? Like someone of course, yeah. one day could say something. So let me, oh, mine was, do you, know, do you remember what mine was? Do you remember what mine was? Anyone? Pretty sure. Playground? Playground. Or game. Got it. Playground. And then after that, yes, it was. we knew that. Alternative ones that I had to that. I know, like you, like you, you pretty much. I was pretty sure you knew it. He, you, River, you good know. life. Mine was playground. I've also said it as game, maybe, but it was always playground. I said game on accident when I meant to say playground that one time when I was saying what the answer I gave. But other another good one that people have said is good ones. We're gonna talk about quick good versions of it. Roller coaster, I think, was a decent one because that's life. It's like a flow. It's like a roller coaster. You said that too, I think. I don't know if I ever used I said I like that as I think I may I answered that, but it wasn't like oh, my main yeah. answer. And then also another one I think you gave me the idea for just recently was book. Life is a book. Think about you that. You never know it's gonna be on the next page. Exactly. Not, not only that, you never know it's gonna be on the next page. Or you can determine what you write for the next page in your life. You could be the author of your own life and the script and write the script and what characters are you going to bring into the story? What characters are you going to get rid of from the story and eliminate and terminate? And float. I said terminate and she looked at you with a sick, twisted oh, look. It. Oh my God, that is creepy. I said, what characters are you going to eliminate from the story? She went, dun, dun, dun. Cute, creepy music. I know. If we had that, the thing that's coming in the mail, you could push it and it'd be like a screeching person like screaming you or whatever. You search up a video of that and no, we, you no, me. No, I'm, I'm not, focused. I'm not that. So... We are going to, we are going to, so those are some good ones. I have a very funny story about an individual that you two know about what their answer to this question was without even being asked this question. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you in a little bit, but I, I know first, that one is. I did this, when I did this for you guys five, six, seven years ago, a long ass time ago, <laughs> it was when we were in, we had the gym in New York and I was doing it with our team and our staff. So I had them all come oh. into the consultation room one at a time and they all gave answers. Oof. And we got some odd answers. Yellow was one of the answers. We had a but he gave team member. Away. He ruined it. Terminated. That's he should why be terminated. <laughs> he should be terminated. Float him. Float him. Him. What show is Float Him from? Float Him is from what? 100. The 100. How do you know? The 100. The 100 on Netflix. You float him. Go yeah, float. first watch Go Walking float Dead yourself. and then watch that. Go float yourself. Anyone want a joke? <laughs> How about I have to remind you about the joke? I literally <laughs> just did. We have it on camera of me reminding because you Because we, we just get in a flow. I know, but you gotta, you gotta... All right, let's go. Joke. Last last class, I got two out of three points. Last episode. So what do we got? Give me the joke. I'm oh, not, I'm not last episode. An episode just whatever. Of, go. Okay. Why do people say break a leg? When you go on stage. Why do you have that dumb face? He's just, he was born with it. <laughs> Why do you have that dumb face? And, I, and mom said I was born with this face. You do. You have that attitude all the time. Jeez. Say the question. Now you distract me from the question. Oh, I don't know okay, the question yeah, yeah. anymore. You're not focused. Why do people say break a leg when you go on stage? Break a leg when you go on stage. To oh. I don't, nothing's like clicking. Break a leg so you don't trip up the stairs. What? I don't know. <laughs> go on stage. I'll break a leg. So you don't break an arm. So you don't break your head. So you don't die. I don't know. So you don't get terminated. So you don't get floated. Give me a hint. I have, not, I'm not, I have nothing even clicking. Like, you know, sometimes you think of like, you start grabbing for words. What is it called nothing. when a group of people come together to record a movie? Or play in a movie. Crowd? Audience? No, a group of people. No one uses actors. the words. A group of actors that come together to do a movie together. You've got the director and you've got the... Actors? Staff. Another, another the word for... Cast. Act. Bing, bing, bing. Point every five. play has a cast. That's point five. Because of what, I don't even know what the answer is. I just said the word cast. Because every play has a cast. Well, now you just gave me the whole thing. I don't get any points for that. What? I just said the word cast. All right, 0.25 I'll take. 0.25 out of one. 
All right, so let's get. You are not on a good roll these last episodes. Two out of three was good. If it's over fifty percent, that's pretty damn good. Two out of three. Yeah, lost. you started with point two fives. Well, and then I came back. So, back all right. From the termination. Terminate from getting floated. So we had someone say a, a team member say life is a yellow. I'm not sure if it meant like because yellow means like Four. sad and down. Blue Wait, let's that. see what yellow, yellow means. Is, say what emotion is yellow? That'll let you look up. When we used to, when we used to be in school, Shh, everybody um, quiet on the set. Yeah, yellow is like. Calm. What does yellow mean as an emotion? Colors incite both positive and negative emotions. Some positive emotions associated with yellow include happiness, excitement, originality, enthusiasm, confidence, hope, and creativity. Negatives feeling connected to yellow are cowardice, illness, caution, betrayal, oh. egotism, and anxiety. And anxiety. All right. I'm not mean. I like to always think the positive side of things, but there's sometimes I have to go default negative, and this is going to be one of those cases negative. where I'm going default negative. I'm pretty certain it's the lather one of those, which is negative feelings connected to yellow are cowardice, illness, caution, betrayal, egotism, egotism. and anxiety. 100 freaking percent that fits the bill for this case. Mm -hmm. Who was it? Jesus. Who was it? Chill out. Say name. the name with the last name and the middle name. And their blood type and social security number. You, you, dropped, you dropped a name last episode of a teacher and that teacher is going to be hunting you down. It was a supervisor. You are sitting. Oh, that guy! I thought it was the it other guy. Now you just gave away that it, what gender they associated with oh, well, at the time. At the time. Another person's answer was burrito. burrito. Life is a burrito. burrito. Let's see what burrito means as an emotion. No, we don't have time for that. That's just dumb. Burrito? It's not even going to come up because it's so stupid. I'm not. But no, 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 you're trying to rationalize it because we're rational-ish people. people, but this wasn't a rational answer. So I want to give what you think. I want you to try and come up with what it might have meant because we want to always think of the positive side. What could it possibly negative. have meant? I went default negative there just because mm -hmm. sometimes you just need to. No <laughs> and, all right, you're going to explain it is. Let someone say a, a sentence first. Deal? Deal. Yeah. Deal. Deal. You yeah. know, you have, you would, I know you like to explain up. stuff. But you want, you're going to explain what you think is a good way of saying, all right, life is a burrito. I could see it because it means like this and this. But that was not it. I literally, because I asked follow-up questions like, can you explain that? Like, I want you two to explain your words in a second. And the answer was, uh, there is no explanation. It's just a word that popped in my head. I want to have a burrito oh for God. lunch. That That's was it. Not there was no deeper, meaningful, like, you're trying to think of like, Oh, it could have meant this, the stuffings and the goodies inside. So what do you think it meant? Go. I knew that it wasn't like actually, it didn't have any actual Any brain meaning. cell, brain cells but attached it, to it. It had no it, brain cells attached to the comment, but yes. But if it did, it would mean that everything in life is kind of packed together. And you sometimes you don't know what's in there. You don't know if it's a different type of cheese or meat. Or sauce. That's not or, what I meant. Or, or oil. Dressing. Just so you know, these expressions and these hand gestures that you're doing are getting caught on camera. Or that are going out fish that are going it. out to YouTube, and that or stuff turkey. will be out there forever. So there's gonna be Until screenshots of you with these little stuff. fairy godmother little things that are your poses. I know. Alright, so we had yellow, we had burrito. Burrito. And Who I've done this burrito. What? <laughs> I'm letting, giving them, I'm, I'm dropping dimes over here, snitching. No, yeah, da, 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 da. Stop. So, anyway, other answers. I've, I've done this with different <laughs> different men, uh, coaching programs and masterminds of people that I've met for the first time because it was a good way to get to know people. Like, think about it. Get, you get to know people like, bam, pretty quickly with the, what they're going to answer on the spot. So, I took these people into the next room in a coaching program one time. And it was actually on the fly. I was there when you were doing that. I saw you taking them in. Yeah, and I came up with it on the fly because we had to start. There was something wrong with like the projectors or the technology or the something was wrong and we couldn't start the day. So I had to kill like 20 minutes and I was by myself and it was supposed to be me and a partner doing it. And I was starting the day off that day because it was a two-day event. And I'm like, Shh, I got to kill some time here. And this is just starting this event. I don't even know these people that well. So I was like, boom, we're going to do this. And then we discussed it, we talked about it, kind of what we're doing here. So it was pretty cool. 
they we heard things like, oh, well, we said roller coaster, but struggle, suffering. Do you want to know what the most common one is? Journey. It's a bad word. You can't say it, but try and guess. Guess. Life is a... B word. Yes. Oh, that yeah. That is the most common answer. I can see that. Of everything. Life's a bitch. Like, imagine going Same. through life just thinking, oh, life's a bitch. Beep. Oh, my life. F my life. Say the real thing. It's funnier. I know. No, this is a family fucking this show. A good, this oh. is a good... Do you know that this show has to have an E next to it on even on your channel? You're a kid's channel and it has to have an E. Where? A symbol of an E on your show. And for everyone? No, explicit. Meaning it's explicit content. So they know it's not really for kids because you might say a bad word. Or like Nowadays, if you say like boy or girl, explicit. Boy or girl. Alright, so we've heard that. Bitch was life's a bitch is the biggest one. Really? Game is pretty big on the good side, like on the more positive ish side. Game, but sometimes. Oh, what's yours? But some people say you game. Have a second version. <laughs> some people say game as like not a good thing, like kind of like it's just like Messing doesn't with matter. Cheating. No, like it um, doesn't matter. It's just who cares? Like it's just a game. Like brush it off. So my second joke. one that I said for fun was life is a joke. I don't think it was for fun. <laughs> it was for fun. My real. But that could be good, or that could yeah. be like. That's the same as game. Yeah. You could be like a good one. Like life is a joke. Like that's what mine is. Life is a playground. So I'll go first. Just go you quick. You could also make playground. I like bad. monkey bars. But playground. Uh, monkey what? bars. Life is a playground. For me, life is a playground, meaning I'm going to have wake up and I'm going to have freaking fun. I'm going to go I'm play gonna with my jump around. I'm going to jump around. I'm going to do what I want to do. Not like I'm gonna, if I want to go on the slide today, I'm going to go on the slide. If I want to go on the monkey bar, say, if I'm gonna, maybe I want to sit on the bench today. I'm going to sit on the bench. Maybe I'm going to crawl on the dirt. Maybe it's raining. I'm going to splash in the puddle in the playground. But I'm gonna make it a playground, make it a journey, make it an event. Journey is a good one too. People use that a lot. Mommy Positive people. Did. That was hers. Journey. Ah, uh, I don't have my phone here. Abuse. That's a pretty I, common I one. Though. I could have posted it on your YouTube channel. But that's, that's a pretty common one. Journey is a pretty common one for people. But mine is playground. Like I'm gonna live life on my own terms. I'm gonna have fun. I'm not gonna take shit too seriously. I'm gonna be kind of a a wise ass and crack jokes and not be like all like uptight about shit. And, but I'm going to have some fun, but also on a playground, you also have to take it a little bit serious or you're going to get seriously injured. So you have to still have some control and some discipline. Think about it. If you start screwing around and you're standing on top of the, on top of the monkey bar and you start running across it, hey mom, look at me, boom, and you bash your teeth. Next thing you know, there's teeth flying over and there's blood gushing and kids puking all over the place because they see your teeth flying out. That's what happened to one of my friends in school. They were walking on top of the monkey bars and they fell and broke their arm. See? Like twisted look at that. their arm. Look at that. That's so... You have to be focused. A playground, you have to be on alert also in a playground. Also, you know, when you're a playground, you have to be, cause you have to, this is how twisted the mind is. It has, I think of all these different things, why it all falls into it. You have to be alert and look around. All right, who doesn't belong in this playground? You see a little creep around the side looking at the kids playing on the playground. Like, that's all part of it. It's crazy how it works, but playground, yes. that's how deep you can look into what these words mean when you ask someone to really break it down. So it tells you, like, a lot about them. So yours was life is... A uh, good life. Good life. Who wants to go first? I'm breaking down there. Uh, me. Of course she said it. So go. Yours was life is a reaver. 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 After can we do the the person we know who wasn't even asked the question? Yes. No, but that's after you both. So go. when somebody asks me the question, life is a like to fill in the blank, you know. Get on with it. I always think of a river, how life like flows and is always set on a place to go. A river is never just endless. It always has a place that it's going. You know, a waterfall, a lake, a sea, uh, an ocean. It always has a place that it's going to go. You don't always know that place, obviously, but it always has a place that it's going to go. Sometimes... So it's on like a journey. It's on like a journey to some destination, to a goal, to an outcome that it's looking for. Sometimes life or your river might hit a rock in the middle, but in the middle of this, how, however big your river is, right in the middle where you are flowing. But that does never stop it from flowing. It, it, if there's a rock in the middle of a river, 
it's not going to hold up the whole entire river. It's still going to keep on flowing. How? What's it going to do? It is going to push the rock away. Or? Or it's going to go over the rock. Or? Around the rock. Around it? Or destroy the rock. Or it will eventually. Do you know there could be a boulder, a stream, a river that's going long It'll enough. Destroy, the consistency yeah. and the persistence of just nonstop. Eventually, a rock, which is solid earth rock, will split in half eventually from a flow of a river, a water, mm -hmm. or whatever, just running into it. Isn't that crazy? But that's what you're talking about, like the persistence. It won't get stopped by a roadblock or an obstacle or something trying to stop it or drag it down. It's going to go around it, over it, or through that mother flipper. I like it. So it never stops it from flowing unless you let it. If you don't decide to destroy it, go over it, go around it, push it away, then it's going to stay there until you somehow get rid of it. Now sometimes your water or river will hit a big giant boulder that you feel you can't steer away from, you can't, you can't go around or back out from. There will always be a way. Nice. There will always be a way to nice. get out of it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it's not always like excuse making, lying. No, there's always going to be a positive way to get from out of the boulder. Stop making those faces. No. That it's was a lot. Good job. Sometimes oh, you're not Oh, she ain't done. <laughs> Professor ain't done. Let me get comfy in my seat. What's Sometimes in life, we almost, almost hit like a, 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 a tiny little, what's a tiny rock called? Pebble? Pebble, yeah. Sometimes we almost hit a pebble or a rock, but, uh, uh, but then we excuse our way out of it. You know? Make a bunch of excuses. We excuse our way out of it. And not that much time longer, you reach this big giant boulder for making those excuses, or for lying, or for hurting somebody. Not not doesn't need to be physical. It could be mentally, but sometimes physically. Okay, psychopath. Is that the whole explanation? <laughs> no, there's oh there's, a whole there's more, more. There's more than one more paragraph. You need to like. Keep going. All right, let's hear it. What else? The way to get out of this situation is to come clean about it. Be honest or apologize for what you did now, but you can't turn your apology into just another excuse or another lie because every single time, if you go around or are, over... Are you who are you and what have you done with Midge? Because... Never mind. Keep on going. If you go over it, you destroy it. Why am I pointing a dagger at you? I don't. I don't Whoa. know. Whoa! Who are you? What have you done with Steve? <laughs> Steve. Steve. Now you can't turn your apology into another one of those excuses or lies or harmful things that you did, because that will get you around it, over it, through it, destroying it, maybe pushing it away. But then, every time you do that, every time you put it off, it's just going to uh, make a bigger boulder, bigger boulder, bigger and bigger and bigger. Imagine this. Imagine a river. It. Imagine a river that's flowing, a massive storming river that's flowing towards the ocean or the lake or the beautiful waterfall you're talking about. It's a roaring river, and there's a tiny little itsy bitsy bitsy pedal right in the middle of the roaring river. And the Roaring River goes and it gets to this pedal and uh, it just slams on the brakes and stops this tiny little pedal. Imagine that. Wouldn't that be kind of silly? Wouldn't that be kind of funny if it was too so, afraid of doing it? It got so afraid, it took this little pebble and it made it into this big, ginormous freaking dam or don't roadblock. Don't make a big deal out of stuff. That was my point. Beautiful. Yes. Don't make a big deal Don't turn a little pebble into a big boulder. Stuff. Don't Taking notes during it. Well, you were just nerding out today, ain't you? Maybe you should do a vacation week every week. For her. And you'll be street homeless by then. <laughs> no, not for me. I experienced this one. I, I I are you still in this? This is some hell of a this river. This is the second paragraph. That was all one paragraph? Yeah. That was a freaking biography. 
Go, continue. We're the edge of my cake nuts. Now I have a story about where I actually experienced this once wow. when I was emptying the dishwasher in the kitchen before going to play with Tyson. Oh, I thought it was in the laundry room. I'm doing the dishwasher in the kitchen. Dummy. I was I was once sitting on the to Dummy. I was I was once sitting on the toilet bowl in the bathroom. I thought it was in your office. I was once sitting on the toilet bowl in the kitchen. <laughs> Man, you got me there. Go. At the end, he reminded me of this secret little compartment in there that mommy would always put silverware in. If I hadn't mentioned that I need to go to the dishwasher, like mommy told me to, um, before I could go play, then I would have gotten in trouble if I didn't do that. And we would play together. Um, so I remembered. And let's go on with the story. You'll see what happens I this next. Be a short episode, but apparently this is the longest episode. Next. But that didn't happen. I hadn't done that. I hadn't done that. This never would have. Ha if I hadn't done that. This never would have happened, and we would play and have fun and get in trouble afterwards. Sure, we could have. And then we would get beaten like little redhead stepchildren with freckles afterwards. Continue. Sure, we could have missed some time to go play with me. Um, do You're it. losing me a little Just bit that. how this is connected to rivers. So you got to keep tying this to rivers. I'm starting to lose me. Yeah, same. We're how's, talking about a dishwasher. Is it because the river leads to the water through the tubes of the dishwasher? No. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, we wouldn't have gotten into trouble, but that didn't happen. I remembered, and when I finished, Tyson reminded me about the secret little compartment. Now, if I hadn't done that, this never would have happened. And when we would go play and have fun, we would get in trouble afterwards. Sure, we would have missed some time to go play with each other. What is she talking about? But then afterwards, we would still be able to play more. Because if... Uh, um, Mike is over here, kid. Sure, we would have missed some time to go play, like I said. Um, but if I didn't do the dishwasher, we wouldn't be able to play longer once Mommy came to check on us. So the way it flowed is uh, it flowed by me remembering to do the dishwasher. <coughs> and then try and follow. after it flowed by Tyson reminding me to go back. So it, I halted the river and turned it around. <laughs> hey, and guys, comment down below if you're stopping. following. And if you are following, we'll send you a free book. Jeez, if it you're following away. this, you deserve, like, I don't even know, the mental, like, award of the year. The Nobel Prize. <laughs> like if you understand it, what I said and also subscribe. Oh, God, we're going to lose all the rest of our not subscribers that we lost in the last episode. Subscribe if you left the episode I, already. Great explanation, especially your first paragraph. Uh, that one was good. It was really good. The first paragraph was like, bam, the, the dishwasher thing. I'm going to have to re-listen to this in slow motion or maybe you listen to this backwards and I'll start to figure that part backwards. out. Backwards. No, it. But it's awesome so, stuff. Life is a river. I like it. Good stuff. You good understand job. it now? Yeah. Now yeah. you, life is a good life. Life is a river that runs okay. through your water run that runs through your dishwasher. He just has a few around. bullet points. What do you care? All right. I had two paragraphs. Oh my God. Two paragraphs. You had two right. novels. Life what do you is got? a good life. Good life can just be self-explanatory, but good life doesn't mean having all the money, having the nicest car, having the nicest house, having the coolest office, having the best business, or the greatest job. Having the best doggy. He's turned talking. Okay, yes, sure, having the best doggy. doggy. But <laughs> even if you say that you have a bad life, doesn't mean that it will always be bad. And the negative sometimes can be the greatest fuel for the positive. So if you have if you have a bad life, that it's not always gonna be bad. You can always find something good out of it. Like I remember there's sometimes these videos that like say, oh, these motivational videos that say, if you have a bad life, there will always be something good. Yes, that is true, but you have to take it to a different level. You only have one life, so make it a good life. Make it a great life. People waste too much time on things like things out of their control. So you only have one life. You never know when it's going to end. It could end right here, right now. It make, sure could. 
Make every moment as good I'm as gonna possible. I'm going to protect myself with these. Okay. <laughs> We're getting a little off track here. So, and life is good and will always be good no matter what. The things that life will throw at you, the things that will come away from your life. Pets will die. Family members will die. You just have to be prepared for that and you still have to find a way to make it a great freaking life. Things will happen that you will not like, that you will hate, but you still have to always find a way to make it a good life. And now about the story. So it was January 9th, 2023, starting a brand new year with a vacation week. January and 9th, start a brand new year? Or, well, we were starting-ish. All right. A brand new year. And the dogs, they're not as trained as they are supposed to be. And they, 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 I didn't, we didn't put their muzzles on them and they chewed up something outside. It was a broom, like a, like a old style broom. That they smells like corn. And... And mommy, she said, we were not trying to make a big deal out of it. And she said, you're just going to have to pay back for the broom. So then that happened. But I made it I made it a big deal. And I started arguing that it doesn't make sense for me to pay it. I thought that the dogs would be good outside. I just made it a big deal. And then boom, just like that, there were no screens for 30 days. And then two days later... We're at the kitchen table having a meeting, and you created the Daily Discipline Challenge. And out of that challenge, I could actually bring it up here, yeah, but sure. yeah. So it was this whole list of all these challenges, all these like different things that we had to do for 21 days, I think. 21 days, and then there would be a prize afterwards, which was a snake. So even though I lost screens for 30 days, which is not like a huge thing, but still, even though I lost screens for 30 days, you could always turn it into something good. And I got a snake at the end. So you, how the frick did a, a dog chewing up a broom got you a freaking exotic snake overnight shipped from Florida from a dog chewing a broom? How, why is that? I, it's a good life. There you go. That's the answer I was looking for. No matter what. It's a good life. And also the good it. days. It's a good life. Nine. If the bad days, you still think that it's a good life. Are they even really bad days? No. They're just good days. It's just a river flowing into your dishwasher, cleaning your freaking dishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. The river. I get it. The river's got. The water's got to come from somewhere to wash our dishes. <laughs> I love That's it that not we the could, point of water it. is the source of life and it cleans our grime off of our forks and spoons. I like that life is, is a life is a dishwasher. I love it. Oh wait, Don't I'm, not I'm not done. I'm not oh, done. That's oh, not God. what it meant. And just to finish off is having a good life is also right here, right now. Having be having things to be grateful for. If you have things to be grateful for, that is a good life. This podcast makes it a good life. Even if today, if this if this podcast was going to be the last thing that I did in my life, it would still be a good life. Now, but what about the things at the beginning? You said all the money and the cars and the house and the toys and all this. So you don't care about those things? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> It'd still it would, be the... It would still be great to have those things. Great to have those things. Like, why not? As a bonus, a cherry on top of the ice cream sundae, as we call it. What are you doing? What you got there? Huh? You know there's a camera recording there too. It's right, right there, like, geez. All right, so let's kind of wrap this up with a final story about life is A. <gasps> oh, I forgot about the fat Albert from last episode. Darn it, see, cause it's way up here for some reason, just this fat Wait. Albert. We from talk last about, episode? Yeah, about the when she's doing her creating of the videos. Oh, we forgot she was gonna, that, how can we She's working on editing that? our videos and every time she edits these videos and does a clip, every time he talks, she's gonna just block out his voice and put a picture of Fat Albert over his face saying something like, hey, hey, hey. I think what he used to say, Fat Albert? I think he would say, hey, 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 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I never watched any You're missing out. Show. You need to go watch Ever. Fat Albert. On the fitness and nutrition one from last show, how many times have you eaten fast food? <gasps> how many times? That's, I don't that's know. An, are you having a heart attack because you ate too much? No, no. I was how many times have you eaten fast food? Not many times. How many times? You, not many? How many times have you eaten McDonald's? None. What do you mean, not Except many? Oh, none. The no, boat, Jesus. Boat, I 
sure. Your brain is not firing at all. So, how many times have you drank soda? None. Like none. Coca Cola? None. Exactly. None. Have you ever eaten Doritos? None. Doritos, never. Twinkies, ho hos. No. All that. All right. We actually. So, let me tell you this story okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. about another a time where life is uh, came up. One time in my life, someone told me their answer without me even asking the question. Listen to this. We'll start. Well, no, we're going to make this a fictional. Was it fictional mean fake or fictional is real? Fictional is fake. All right. I did not know that. You so, learned that in school. I. <laughs> he doesn't remember anything. Fictional is fake. All right. So, this is a fictional story. That's so dumb. So, fictional is fake and then non fiction is real? Fiction means fake. Non fiction. So, non fake? Why wouldn't fiction just mean real and nonfiction mean not real? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make sense. So it's not fake? Nonfiction is not fake. Why don't they just, well, that makes sense. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. Anyway, that's Holy why I never paid attention. Because nothing of that shit they teach you in school made sense. That that's was the last big. episode. Think about that. It's non-fake. How the hell are you supposed to remember that? It's non-fake. Non-real. Non-real would mean like real and not real. It would make more sense. Not fake and not fake. Like, how stupid. Anyway. Let's go into the, this, so there was this, uh oh, I hope there are, we hear someone outside of our studio if they can't hear what's going on here, because this, anyway, this is a fictional story, this is a fictional story, I heard yeah. about, I heard this story about this guy, he was a really cool, awesome, fit, he? successful, handsome, bald, uh, white, skinny dude from uh, New York, the handsome, I don't think that from New York, is. right, and he meets this foreigner that has this very strange accent. <laughs> Like very strange accent, like very strange accent, like. Oh, remember? What's it? What is it? Um, so one time in the mail, he got this little tiny EDC foldable fork and knife, and ma uh, and the woman was like. This is a fictional story. Snitches end up in ditches. The, the woman, person. The woman said, "Does that go in the wallet or something?" Does that go in the wallet or something? So anyway, this charming, handsome. Uh, Bald, skinny, white dude from New York in this fictional character, in this fictional story. Yes. He meets this foreigner, this foreigner with this foreigner. odd voice, very strong, Nazi-ish, Russian-ish type voice. Hey, you need a... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. They put the E on this shit. It's good. <laughs> they just put the, the e, e on a kids everybody. show, a kids show, and they put an E on it. That's just messed up. E for funny everybody. Shit. Yeah, I bet you it's the only kids show that has an E on it that's considered explicit. That's some funny shit. So he meets this this one, and it's the woman of his dreams. And how? It's a fictional. <laughs> and he, and he, he, oh my god! Jesus! Holy crap! <laughs> and he's gonna meet. He meets this woman of the dreams family. Oh, oh my God! Mother, who has a very <laughs> odd colored, like features. <laughs> this is fictional, fictional story. He's meeting this woman of his dreams, mother, and does like we talked in the last show, shaking the hand, the eye contact. Great to meet you. Heard so many great things about you. Nice to meet Did you. you. <laughs> it's individual. It's just. Can in, I demonstrate? It's just individuals. It's it no. It's this individual's Aww. first time in this country, even, and the response to "Oh, great to meet you, nice to meet you." Oh, heard so much about you. The response was, "Life is brutal." Brutal. <laughs> so, well, this, this relationship's got off to a great start. This is gonna be swell. And you can imagine what it's been like since then. You could fill in the blanks now. I just thought it was interesting, but that, that tells you right after that. It's the same as life is a. It tells you. Burrito. You can see how people think. So look at the answers we've talked about today. Mine was playground. We had river. We had good life. We heard journey, struggle, suffering, hell. Life is hell, we've oh my heard. Oh, God. Be right. Life is a bitch. Life is brutal. Explicit. Brutal. Life is a burrito. It's yellow. It's a roller coaster. It's a book. It's a game. We've heard all this, and just from that one word, it tells you a lot about where someone's coming from. Where are they at in life at that point, at that moment? It tells you so much. Any closing comment? You only get, you guys only had one joke this whole thing. I have to remind you about this stuff every episode. You got one more to take us out with? No? Um, yes. What the? What? That was all. Okay, if not, then not. I thought you might have one I more. Have we one. also didn't do the question of the you, day. Because you guys just asked last episode. Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? She's missing a shoe. Wait, what's the question? Who? Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? Who's Cinderella? 
Isn't Cinderella missing a shoe or she kissed a frog or some shit? Or she missed a shoe or missed her, her shoe broke? I never... Her shoe broke. Her cleats broke. Didn't someone know missing a shoe and someone found that the shoe? That was like in the meme of Jurassic World or something. Or is that like a... Fine, then we won't that, use that one because you seem to be confused. No, no. I'm just... Why stalling. was Cinderella What's the answer? so bad? Oh, no, give me a hint. Because she got... Hint. Give me a hint. No, give me a hint. So I can figure it out. I just found the joke. I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. If you don't even know what it means. That's why she tried to say, oh, we'll just find another joke. What's the answer? Because she kept running away from the ball. I don't know what that means. Oh, she oh, was like going to ball. some ball. Yeah, the, Is that the something about... The, the party or something? Party, the ball, like a, a party thing. But yeah, I wouldn't have got that. All right, it doesn't count because if the joke er, joke yeah, person doesn't even know it, it, it don't even count. You better give me another one. Yeah, you better delete you that. You need to come out with ones that you actually... Delete that from know. our... All right, what do we got? Come on, quick. What do you call bears without Listen, bees? Listen, the mic, you gotta speak towards here. What do you call bears without bees? Ears. Dang. That's a point and a half, sucker. That should be a short, and then it, and then it should show like, oh. So that is, oh. I got, that was a point and a half? So you got 1.75. Oh, 1.75 out of two. That's a pretty damn good score. All right, awesome. Take them in. Awesome stuff. Good episode. Good, good, good episode. episode. Good episode. Harry fist bumps all around. Tell them what you need and to And if you them. haven't already, if you want to join our 10 subscribers now, smash that subscribe button and click the notifications bell, like button, share, comment. Excuse me. <laughs> share with your goats, your fish, your... Your... Your cats. All right. That was Just subscribe. All right. And anything you want to take them home with? No! No! Hey! Excuse me! Very, 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 very normal. So they can't imagine where they get it get from. from. We will see you next time. In case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No, no excuses. excuses. We'll see you next time on Breaking the Cycle. We are out. out.